COVID-19 has put households all over the world on high alert with those showing symptoms being ordered to self-isolate. The outbreaks merging with flu season has made detection of the virus difficult. I spoke to my mother, Gloria Walsh, about her recent false alarm and the stress it put on our family. It was a low grade fever and then it went up to about 100.8 on Friday night. So on Saturday when I woke up, I was really concerned. Um, the achiness, intense headache and a fever. Gloria called her primary doctor the moment she realized she had a fever. She was instructed to stay away from other family members and call the doctor again if symptoms did not subside within five days. So then on Sunday, my fever totally subsided. The headache went away and I actually felt better when I talked to my primary again on Monday. So she just told me to self-isolate for the next five days, just in case. But we really felt uh, I was in the clear and I really just had some type of bug. The CDC orders all people who suspect to have coronavirus to call their primary doctor immediately for further instructions and evaluation for testing. My biggest concern was this just a 24 hour bug or was it the beginning of the coronavirus? I had three of the symptoms of coronavirus, but I had no type of chest pain. I had no trouble breathing and I had no cough. The experience made Gloria more vigilant in protecting herself and her family. Since the CDC now ruled about wearing masks, I do wear masks when I do go out grocery shopping or to pick up my prescriptions at the pharmacy. Um, I'm always wiping things down using hand sanitizer when I am out and about. Gloria is continuing taking these measures along with a healthy diet and exercise in hopes of preventing another sudden illness, especially coronavirus. Reporting for Temple Update from Langhorne, Pennsylvania, I'm Megan Walsh.